The North Carolina-based APEX program is implemented in conjunction with Jacksonville's track program. Track works with dozens of soldiers each year who were injured in Iraq or Afghanistan. These wounded warriors get reacclimated to life in the U.S. while taking college courses to improve their civilian work skills. Actually, the APEX uh, as an organization was founded three years ago based upon uh, about 15 years of uh, success in instituting mental skills training. The track program makes use of this uh, in the sense of uh, we start off with a workshop uh, where they all come together, group, which is very good because they kind of all understand common, shared way what they're, what they're going through so that for the rest of the year they can, you know, help each other, reinforce each other. We use a lot of technology, you know, biofeedback, neurofeedback, uh, to provide them feedback you know, about how they're doing as they're trying to learn all these, uh, all these mental skills. I was just at a crossroads in my life and um, it's kind of a point to where I really wasn't sure which way to go. I fractured my lower back um, and it put me out for, for quite a bit of time. Um, a traumatic brain injury, uh, my brain, uh, you know, explosion uh, kind of shook it up a little bit, messed it up. Post traumatic stress, I'm very analytical so I, I love to think and I'll think too deep into things to where I overanalyze everything. This apex performance here helps me, you know, get out of the analytical phase of it and start to uh, process it and then to act on it instead of staying in the uh, thinking stage of it. So what we do is I'll teach them tech training techniques on how to become a more adaptive thinker, how to manage their stress or energy levels. In here, they'll be hooked up to the biofeedback wires so they'll see on the TV screen exactly how their body responds. I feel like I'm under pressure. Just, it's alright, just relax, focus on what you're doing. Remember to breathe. Slow, deep breaths. Good, so now he, Ron is actually um, becoming a little bit more relaxed. He's more focused now. And I can tell that because his breathing has stabilized into a nice rhythm. Um, and his temperature and, and skin conductance, or his sweating, has um, returned back to what would be in a relaxed state. So I know that in the beginning he was a little nervous and I could see that, and now it's starting to, to even out, and you can see that on the biofeedback screen. For Jacksonville.com, this is Jennifer Cox.